Attorney General Jeff Sessions I will recuse myself if necessary. Attorney General Jeff Sessions denied meeting with Russian officials during the course of the presidential election to discuss the Trump campaign, he told NBC News in exclusive remarks early Thursday. I have not met with any Russians at any time to discuss any political campaign, he said, and those remarks are unbelievable to me and are false. And I don't have anything else to say about that. House Speaker Paul Ryan said Thursday that he supports Sessions' decision to recuse himself if he becomes part of an investigation into Russia, but there's been no evidence that the Trump campaign colluded with Moscow. House Oversight Committee Chair Jason Chaffetz wants Sessions to recuse himself. The White House is defending Sessions against partisan Democrats. The meeting was first reported by The Washington Post on Wednesday. Senator Al Franken, d -Man. Utah Representative Jason Chaffetz, who serves as the chairman of the House Committee of Oversight and Government Reform, said on MSNBC that Sessions should recuse himself from any investigation precisely because of how he answered his question in his testimony. Sessions had a private meeting with the Russian ambassador last September as part of his capacity as a senator, the officials with the Justice Department told NBC News. It's no surprise Senator Al Franken is pushing this story immediately following President Trump's successful address to the nation. New York Senator Chuck Schumer was among the more prominent Democrats demanding Sessions step down and have a special prosecutor appointed to investigate the alleged Russian interference in November's election. There's nothing wrong about meeting with the Russian ambassador, Schumer told reporters. No call or meeting W slash Russian ambassador. Ever she said in a series of tweets Thursday. Democrats have called for a select committee or special prosecutor to delve further into whether the Russians yielded influence on the campaign in favor of the Republican nominee Donald Trump. Most Republican lawmakers have stopped short of demanding such an investigation. Franken said on MSNBC's Morning Joe Thursday that Sessions' comments were, at best extremely misleading, and he must clarify them in a press conference. Then we can see if he should resign or not, said Franken, who supports Sessions recusing himself from any investigation. Attorney General Jeff Sessions denied meeting with Russian officials during the course of the presidential election to discuss the Trump campaign, he told NBC News in exclusive remarks early Thursday. There's no doubt about that. The latest on Sessions. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer are calling for Sessions to resign and a special prosecutor to be appointed to investigate the alleged Russian meddling in last year's election. House Speaker Paul Ryan said Thursday that he supports Sessions' decision to recuse himself if he becomes part of an investigation into Russia, but there's been no evidence that the Trump campaign colluded with Moscow. Before the presidential election last year in his capacity as a then-senator raising questions about whether he misled fellow senators during his Attorney General confirmation hearing in January. Spokeswoman Sarah Isker Flores told NBC News that Sessions, who was a prominent Trump surrogate, did have a conversation with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak last year. The meeting was first reported by the Washington Post on Wednesday. Flores said, there was absolutely nothing misleading about his answer, because Sessions was asked about communications between Russia and the Trump campaign, and not about meetings he took as a senator with the Armed Services Committee. But Sessions' response is giving some Republican lawmakers pause. Utorep. The White House responded Thursday that partisan Democrats were pouncing on Sessions unfairly. Related, first read, the White House now has three options on Russia. General Sessions met with the ambassador in an official capacity as a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, which is entirely consistent with his testimony, White House Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said in a statement. It's no surprise Senator Al Franken is pushing this story immediately following President Trump's successful address to the nation. Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill, also a member of the Armed Services Committee, questioned why Sessions would even meet with the Russian ambassador. I've been on the Armed Services Comm for 10 years. Most Republican lawmakers have stopped short of demanding such an investigation. But questions have been mounting over Russia, 
from initial allegations that Moscow meddled in the November election to reports that Trump's presidential campaign staffers had contact with the Russians to former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn resigning over his contact with the Russian ambassador. During the election, Trump praised Russian President Vladimir Putin. Then we can see if he should resign or not, said Franken, who supports Sessions recusing himself from any investigation. House Majority Leader Rep. Kevin McCarthy, R. California. Ted Cruz came out in defense of Sessions and branded the brewing controversy as a nothing burger on Morning Joe. Cruz, a member of the Armed Services Committee, said he has met with six different ambassadors in the last two months, although none were with Russia. I know that meeting with a foreign ambassador is part of the routine, Cruz said, adding there isn't any credible allegations that Jeff did anything wrong meeting with a Russian ambassador.